Uh, so the disappointing earnings, I, I mean, a lot of this is, I mean, this is what REITs do, right? They yes. rejig their portfolios yes. quite often. Yes, exactly. I mean, this is not something that's not expected in the market. That's what we're guiding. 2023 20, last year, we went to our strategy this by uh, recapitalizing our balance sheet, rejuvenating the assets. These assets that we sold are what we call non-core assets. So once you sell the assets, you don't have the income, naturally the distributions will be um, down. Mm -hmm. However, right now what we are doing is with the acquisitions that we have just announced, we are now recycling all these divestment proceeds as well as the money that we raised last year back into newer modern mm. and new economy assets of logistics and high spec space which you can squeeze more yield out of uh, yes and yeah. more importantly these are all in demand assets and their freehold have longer land leases yeah. as i mentioned to you before the problem with singapore industrial assets is the land leases are very short in 30 years 30 years or so yeah. but right now for us the assets that we are acquiring in japan and singapore they are very they're freehold assets in japan and at the same time for the singapore assets it's like 44 years long land lease mm. so this is very good for us and we expect the valuation as well as the earnings after we acquire the assets to actually go up because the acquisitions that we are buying it yeah. is giving us a DPU accretion of 1.8%. Oh, okay, so there's two new assets, uh, Nagoya also in uh, Singapore. Uh, are they logistics plays? How are they green plays as well? Yes, so the logistics asset in Nagoya it is, a, it is a pure logistics asset uh, itself. It has sustainability f features. You do have uh, solar panels and materials that's being used that sus has sustainability features. Even for the Singapore asset, the Singapore asset is both a high specs come logistics asset. And uh, this is what we try to term new economy assets. And these are the ones that um, you do have also have solar panels and even for the um, warehouse space that is in the Singapore asset, it is, has green mark. Uh, Platinum uh, ratings. Yeah. Uh, are you, Adrian, done already with uh, the divestment of some of these non-core assets, or can we expect more divestments and perhaps more and, and more acquisitions as well as you try to continue or maintain this pivot towards what we call that new those new economy assets? Yes, definitely. I think for us um, right now, new economy assets before the acquisitions um, is 63.1 percent after the, done the divestments last year. With these acquisitions, we're going towards 70 percent. That's exactly where we're pivoting to, towards. So, yes, and we are all. Always as landlords, we are always making sure that we're reju rejuvenating assets. Either we divest these assets that are non-core to us, or we do what we call redevelopments or asset enhancements of assets that are bigger, that are able to um, convert them into more modern in-demand new economy assets of either logistics or um, high specs building. Yeah, in fact, the last 12 months, you, you did a significant trimming of the portfolio, rejigging yes. of the portfolio, yes. uh, multiple assets really divested of it, yes. which is also why we saw distributions actually take that hit. Yes. Can we expect that in the second half that perhaps the storm will pass, for lack of a better term? Yes, definitely, because what you are seeing is that those assets, not the last uh, 12 months to 18 months, not only we're divesting our non-core assets, but at the same time, we have uh, also undertaken our asset enhancements and redevelopments. Our redevelopments and asset enhancements for 7,002 Ang Mo Kyo as 21B Sonoku Loop has achieved TOP and is starting to contribute income. So with the acquisitions, with the um, um, uh, completed asset enhancements and redevelopments, we are starting to see the earnings more steady. In fact, if you look at our results, if you strip out the divestments mm -hmm. um, and assets that we have closed down to do uh, redevelopments, what we'd like to call the remaining uh, same store basis assets, our revenue is actually up 1.6%. Right. So this is actually what the what you call the core assets are starting to contribute back into the income. 